it's Celine here and today I'm going to be doing my yearly favorites. Wow, I don't think... Have I ever done it? No, I think this is my first yearly favorites on my channel. That's really exciting. So I have a lot of um, beauty favorites that I've piled up here on my bed, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So I've narrowed it down to one eyeshadow palette, and this is the eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing all of 2014. Of course, there are some different eyeshadows that I use, but this is the main palette that has been with me, and it is the Naked 3 palettes. Oh man, I love this. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now, and I normally don't wear eyeshadow. I mean, I do, but lately I haven't been wearing it, but for 2014 I, I wore a lot of eyeshadows, so this is the palette that was usually on my eyes. Moving on to the lipsticks, I love my lipsticks. As you can see right now, I'm wearing a pretty bold lip, and so this one that I'm wearing is the NARS um, Satin Lip Pencil in the color Luxembourg. I love this color. I recently got this, like maybe two months ago, but this has definitely been a big favorite, especially lately. So I just, I love this color, especially for the holiday season. It's just such a beautiful color and I really like it. This is the Tarte Lipstick in Tulip and it's the Amazonian Butter Lipstick is the official name of it. And I love the sound it makes, listen. I love the sound, okay. And it looks like this, it's a very neutral, it's a light pink color, however it's not too pink that you can tell that it's like a pink lipstick. It looks really natural and has a little bit of shine in it, so I love it for school. It looks so natural and I really like it. Oh, and it also is natural, it has natural products in it, so eco-friendly lipsticks are bae. And last lipstick is this MAC lipstick, um, it's a cream sheen in the color Party Line. I adore this, I've worn this so many times in tutorials. Um, this is what it looks like, it's this dark berry color. This is really pretty for the fall especially, and the winter of course, but I love this as my main fall color. Yep, so I really like this Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer in Oil Free. This is so amazing, I think I've had this for about two years now, and it seriously does amazing things. I like to put it on before foundation if I actually have the time to put on foundation or anything. This makes my skin look so well with the um, foundation and everything. You could also wear this on its own, however, this is usually what I wear when I choose to wear face makeup. Speaking of foundations, I'm just going to go on to a BB cream that I've been liking and a foundation. So, um, the Tarte BB cream is one that I've been wearing so much during 2014. It's so pretty, and I'm in the shade Medium. And I really like it. Oh, it expires in March 2015, so I still got time to use it, but I've been using this for such a long time, and it just, it seriously has such a lightweight finish on my skin. It's also eco-friendly, so nothing, no parabens or anything chemicals like that on my face, which is awesome. Um, and then my foundation is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Matte Foundation. I'm wearing it right now on my face, if you can see it. It's just something that I have been loving. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it um, since I got it in, like, February of 2014? Yeah, February or March, so it's been nearly a year, so... I really like it. Now moving on to brushes, I feel like that's really important. People don't really talk about brushes here a lot unless it's like a sponsored video, I feel like. But this, I adore these brushes. These are the Real Techniques brushes and everyone has been hyping about them and I finally decided to try this one out, the foundation one. Um, this is the smaller one, I don't know the exact name of it, but this does amazing things. I prefer this over my Beauty Blender and that's saying something because I love my Beauty Blender. But this just really buffs in the foundation so well and makes it look so effortless and there's no harsh lines. It's just does wonders for my skin. And then this one is the blush brush and it looks like this and I recently got this like in June or July, no, maybe in like August I got this and it just, I put on my, um, what am I saying, my blush and this just makes it look so blended in and I don't have to worry if my, if there's like a really harsh blush mark or anything. These just do such great things. I love the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. It is a little bit light for my skin right now. Um, so I don't really wear it on like um, pimples or acne areas, but I like to put this right underneath my eyes And when I say that I mean I take like a dot of it and just a little bit that it covers up any dark under eye circles that I have I waterproof liquid eyeliners a lot of people have talked about these and I Love them so much. They stay on my eyelids. They're so easy to use you just literally you just flick and it's so easy It's just so easy to use. I cannot stress that enough now onto powders You could see me use this powder in nearly every single makeup tutorial that I've ever done because I love it so much And it's the mineralized max skin finish natural in medium dark. It looks like this. It's seriously the best thing ever I've used it so many times. I am really shocked that I have not hit pan I'm like so far from hitting pan too So which is great because I just get to use it more and more and I don't have to worry about rebuying it So I love that one. It just keeps my skin um, like my foundation matte in place, doesn't move, doesn't smudge, awesome. Okay, the next one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is an amazing highlighter. It looks really like shimmery when you open it and at first I was like, mmm, I don't know if I can use that. I don't want a lot of sparkle on my face, but this just gives such a subtle finish as like a highlight to your upper cheekbones, a little bit on your um, T-zone and your chin and it's, ugh, I, I love this 
highlighter. These two together are wonderful. And so the first one I'm showing you guys is Benefit Bad Gal Lash. I've used this so much, and most of these brushes look similar to each other, so it's really like nothing too different. So this is what this one looks like. It's a really thick brush, and I love it. Um, it lengthens my lashes more than it thickens them, which I like. Um, then there we have the L'Oreal Hydrofuge um, Voluminous Carbon Black. This is just the water black, um, waterproof mascara. And so I haven't opened this one yet, but the regular one is the same thing as the waterproof one. So it's basically the same thing as this, except drugstore version. And that is it for all the yearly favorites. Now I'm just going to be talking about the coat that I'm wearing right now. It's actually a jacket from this online store. I have the name right here. And they offered to send me this jacket, so um, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's so, so, so comfortable. This is what the jacket looks like if you wanted to see like an overview of it. It has this really pretty zipper here. It's like a gold zipper, and it has like um, tweed-like material, like gold stitching. It's so pretty. I just wore a tank top um, on underneath of it. And then it has these like faux leather sleeves that are so comfortable. Now, if you want to get the exact same one, I'll have a link to it down below. But I have a discount code for you guys. They were nice enough to give you guys discount codes to the entire website. So if you want, you can get the same jacket as me. I'll have the link of that down below also. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next year. Okay, so many people have done that joke. I'm leaving. Bye!